Hey everybody, it's Becky. How are you today? I wanted to show you guys what my January grab bag painting was going to be. Um, I got lots of votes of like, you know, do this one or that one, but majority of the votes on my video a few weeks ago, not even a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago maybe, was to do them in the order that they came. And so when I went a couple of nights ago to grab my uh, grab bag painting out, I reached in and I pulled out a package of drills and it happened to be the one that correlates with F301, which is the first painting in the package. So I thought, all right, well, that's just meant to be. So here we are, I've got it all kitted up. Um, this one has 31 colors. So we are in one of our um, little 28 pack, plus I've got a couple extras um, and I've got, I ended up in a, a singleton there as well. Um, this, these two colors here are duplicate pots um, because like there's a lot of those couple of colors there, letter F and um, the uh, little dash symbol. Um, so on these, um, the stickers that came with these little pots do not come off well at all. So I have, um, I do have some, um, Goo Gone on order from Amazon. I've got like a little pen version, um, that should take those, uh, sticker residue off. Um, I'll have that here in a couple of days, try it out and see what you guys think of it and let you guys know what I think of it. Um, so I'm going to kind of spin you around here, um, and I'm going to go ahead and pull off the plastic cover and put on cover sheets. Um, and I think on this particular painting, um, I think I want to start up at the top where I have all this blue and a few different colors because right now on a dreamy retreat, I am working on almost exclusively green in the area that I'm in now. So um, my cover sheets are a double-sided silicone um, release paper that I purchased on Amazon. Uh, I'm not really lining these up in any particular order. I'm just slapping them down there for the time being. Um, and I will go through, um, and like I said, I'll start towards the top, up in the blue area on this painting and um, work my way down. Um, I'll let you guys know as I work through it what I'm thinking of it. Um, I am gonna start upside down. Let's go ahead and get some painting going because I'm on my lunch break and I have the time. So, um, the weather here in Oklahoma is absolutely freezing. It is like below cold outside right now. I think it's like seven degrees, or last time I looked it was like seven degrees, which is ridiculous for our area. Um, you know, we usually have, you know, pretty decent weather, and right now uh, we are having our winter weather, which considering I work from home, I don't have to worry about being out and about. I don't have to clear the snow off of my car. We did get snow um, over these last couple of days and so I do not have to worry about that. I just I'm staying inside, staying warm and uh, not having to worry about being out on dangerous streets while people who really have no business driving are out there. Um, so yeah, I still working, just, uh, you know, here in my little office since I don't have to get out and about. Um, you know, Linda, you've been asking if we get the day off work. Um, unfortunately, um, my company does not do Martin Luther King Day off of work. Um, it's not a, 
um, holiday that our company pays um, people to be off. And so, um, of course, if anybody does want to take any particular holiday off that's not one of the big seven, we have like six or seven paid holidays. Um, and then they also give us a floating holiday that we can use for any um, any day that we want to celebrate or um, a lot of people will use it to take off like for their birthday or um, you know whatever religious holiday that the company doesn't celebrate or what have you so um, in my case I have not decided where I'm going to take my floating holiday yet this year um, you know, we don't, it doesn't have to necessarily be used for an actual calendar holiday type thing. Um, you can just say, hey, I'm taking this date off and, um, whenever you put in your time on your, uh, pay request, um, portal, um, you just choose floating holiday instead of a vacation day, and there you go. So, um, like I said, I haven't decided when I'll use mine yet. Uh, we have a, a few changes happening within our company, positive changes for sure, uh, but it does put me under a new leadership team, and so I'm kind of waiting until we settle in with our new team leads before I worry about taking any more days off. Um, I don't have anything planned yet. I do want to take a trip for my birthday. Um, for, you know, for us, um, you know, we, we enjoy traveling. So it's a matter of where do we want to go? And of course, you know, I don't want to like spend a ton of money going on a trip, but at the same time, you know, I want to go someplace that I either know that I enjoy or someplace that is new, that has a lot of really interesting things for me to, to go and explore, so... I'm still looking. Uh, one of my friends was like, we need to go somewhere warm. And I'm like, that doesn't exist in the world these days. Um, it is not warm anywhere. Um, my niece uh, just left on a cruise yesterday. And um, she was cruising out of Texas. And even Texas was only like 60 degrees yesterday. Um, so for me, that's not tropical enough to be like, yeah, let's just go down to Texas. Um, I did have a comment suggesting Eureka Springs out in Arkansas. I have been to Eureka Springs a couple of times and it's a cute little town. Um, I just don't know that it's where I want to go for my birthday this year. Um, because we, we just recently went to Arkansas, and now it was a different part of Arkansas. Uh, we were in Hot Springs area. Um, and we we absolutely enjoyed that trip. It was a beautiful trip. The weather was great for us the whole time. Um, again, right now the weather is nasty everywhere. Um, so kind of kind of makes it hard to like decide where to go because you're like well yes even though it's a couple weeks away before we do this not a couple weeks a couple months away before we do this trip it's still you know the weather being so gross everywhere makes it hard to be like this is where I want to go if I could go anywhere money no issue I'd be sitting on a beach in Aruba um, I think of all the places I've vis visited in the Caribbean, Aruba is still my favorite. It's going to be hard to beat that one. Um, 
so I have looked at, like I said, like Southern Texas, like Galveston, Corpus Christi, Port Aransas. Um, I can't remember what some of the other places down there are. Oh, South Padre Island. I, I kind of glanced at it too. Um, so yeah, still open to suggestions on travel. Uh, but now we have to consider the weather. And like I said, right now, everything looks so yucky. It's hard to go. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Um, anyways, so that's kind of what I've got going on right now. Um, DP Crazy Lady, I'm so glad you're finally getting started in on your gnomes. Um, that picture is going to turn out so super cute. And the fact that, you know, craftably has gone above and beyond for you, making sure that you were able to get that painting, uh, makes me very, very happy with them as a company. Um, I am still working on a dreamy retreat, of course. Um, I feel like that's going to be going on for a few months. Um, Lacey, retired granny, you, you know, you keep motivating me on that one because it's, uh, it's big. <laughs> and like I said, right now I'm stuck in a bunch of green and I feel like I've spent the entire weekend just placing green little dots all over the place. Um... I am starting to get back into another color area. It's just I chose to do all the green first so that then the then I get to reward myself with all the pretty colors. So um I think that's all I've got to chit chat about right now. Yeah, like I said, I am on my lunch break, so I want to go ahead and jump off of here and start this uploading before I have to log back on to work. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying the beauty of the snow that, or whatever weather they're having without having to be outside in it. I hope everybody is staying warm and I will talk to you guys another day. Um, I'll hopefully have an update on a dreamy retreat for you here fairly soon. But again, it's green. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'll talk to you guys later. You have a great day. Bye-bye.